Um, are you all hearing the clicking noise? Because there are reports of people hearing clicking noises. And it seems to have started picking up last week, around the middle of the week. Uh, and you know, that is the same time that CERN, the first week in July, where they did their experiment um, because of some kind of a gate being opened up. So if you have been hearing a clicking noise, it goes like something like that in your ears off and on. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you're on the phone or you're at your house or you're outside and um, maybe um, your animals uh, are sensing it too and they maybe hear it too and maybe you've saw like your animals looking at a certain area, uh, just looking there, when you're hearing this clicking noise, um, good morning. Um, yeah, you've been hearing it for a few months now. You've been hearing the clicking noise. And it, it's different than the ringing in the ears or the high pitch frequency. Good morning, everyone. It's a clicking noise. I remember it was around four years ago. Uh, when I was like outside at night, they said, Gina, if you ever hear like a clicking noise outside, um, it's like praying mantis, like a species, like something out there making a clicking noise. And I, <laughs> I, I don't want to, I don't want to think that there's like a praying mantis species, an alien species, insectoid out there, uh, is what, um, Yeah. Your ears have been ringing. Um, you all were inside. Oh, oh, mystery. Last weekend, your cat too. So your cat is noticing something going on. And have you noticed your animals maybe seeing things, sensing things more than like normal? And have you been seeing things like... Uh, like more orbs, more um, spirits, more, hello there, Apple Brooks, honey, uh, like ghosts or hearing, seeing more paranormal like activity occurring uh, more than normal. If you were to look at it from a paranormal uh, point of view, excuse me, spirits, yes. It sounds like soda pop bubbles in your right ear. It's been happening for months. Okay. Um, for months. Are, are you in the, another country? Um, because I, it, that, that would be good if uh, we could pinpoint the, the geographic locations at times too. Your animals uh, are watching a couple months. Okay, so we've got it. We got, we at least got that down. A couple months people have been hearing clicking noises. Uh, in their ears, with their ears, um, shadow people. Yeah, ears ringing means angels talking to you. Your cats and I have, you have ringing at night and ear this time, the grand blessing. Lots of shadow people. You've been seeing the shadow people. And um, shadow people exist because they've got information about it on the internet. You couldn't have all these people having the same um, things they're seeing uh, and it not be real. Because I think if you have so many people say in it, uh, you're going to write about it. You're going to document it. Shadow people and clicking uh, for a few years. The trees start blowing like crazy behind your house out of nowhere. The neighbor's dogs bark uh, as if like some spiritual entities, uh, interdimensional entities or something's there. Maybe an invisible ship. Uh, is setting right there. The feral cat stares at the house for hours. Uh, lays there and stares. Oh, wow. Electronic items and cars are crazy. Your frequency came in your ear and out your left. Strangest feeling. A couple months ago, what was happening a couple months ago, I wonder? Um, hello there in Portugal. You couldn't fall asleep. You was watching the moon, the super moon. 
the shadow people bad? I don't know. You can feel the ground shake under your feet off and on again, like something is moving around and things like that. A beeping in your ear, left ear at the moment. Wow. Your cat stares at something, but you don't know what they're looking at. But you can tell it's something there, and it's not harmful. Okay, yeah. So that's another thing. When your animal stares, are you sensing if it's harmful? Are you afraid? Or it's it's not really bothering you? So that's good to know, too, how, how it makes you feel uh, when you're encountering it. A very weird feeling in your left ear, almost like movements about. I had something like that too. Um, dun dun dun. Yeah, that's strange. It, it that really is strange. I'm glad you brought that up. Also, clicking, insectoid humanoids, and and could insectoid humanoids be friendly, or None of them are friendly. Your ears are full of liquid. Uh, your house, your visual. If you're just tuning in, are you hearing a clicking noise? Uh, some started filling it last week. And according to a lot of comments on here, several comments on here, it started a couple months ago for them. The strange clicking noises that they've been hearing. And... Um, that's wonderful, William, honey. Uh, and that's wonderful that um, you did. So they hear a lot of clicking noises. And their animals have been staring at a certain spot on the wall or at a house. They're staring at something. They're sensing something. Um, watching your building and it runs away when you approach. It feels like something crawling or ticking in it. Love transcends. And and what if there is something in there? It's, it's, uh, it's not good to think about that you have some type of um, uh, alien life form. Really? Small life form crawling around in your ear. Um, yeah, I don't like to think about that. Because if you look at the movies, these life forms, they can get in your bodies too. Your dog has been sleeping in the basement. Wow. Do you think um, so it can be closer to the earth for grounding? Uh, grounding of its uh, senses. Um, you were a contactee, but this was uh, different. It didn't feel good. There's no telling. Um, what is out there, what type of beings are right here in our, in our own uh, dimension, yet we can't see them right now. And I'm wondering if the frequency is raised enough, would it make them become visible if a certain conditions were met where people could see them? Um, so how would that work? How would that work? How would you make something in another dimension uh, manifest with some type of a, a frequency or something? How it would have to be, they'd have to be able to just walk right over because that would be a, a large scale um, showing. Uh, yeah, thank you, um, Reese. Nephilim want their created critters back. Mmm, you're dizzy today. Um, yeah, you all, please put your comments because we need to document this. This clicking, according to some, has been going on for months. And some feel movement in their ears and their animals are staring at the wall or staring at their house or they're, they're sleeping in the basement. Um, something's up. They, have, they are very um, 
psychic too. They really are. They can sense things that we cannot sense. They can feel things that we cannot feel. Even like the birds of the air, the animals outside, they know when something is coming around that should not be around. Mm. A Morse code in your ears. Frankie, honey, thank you. Yeah, so a Morse code in your ears. What if it is a Morse code in your ears? Something like um, some type of a light code or something? What if, what if something that you're hearing is being sent and it's activating something inside of you and something inside of you is waking up? like a great awakening occurring. It's like, um, I don't know. All it takes is like something to happen. You know, like if you hear a certain war, some these people who claim, you know, MK Ultra, when they hear a certain ward, they click into action or something like that. So I'm wondering if that clicking, like you said, it sounds like a Morse code. They're reading our thoughts and communicating in Morse code. Yeah. Um, yeah. Clicking in your ears. Uh, well, see, I can take care of you right now. I don't got a problem. Boom, you're gone. Yeah, you are. We get a little bit of trolls in here, but that's all right. Yeah. So you was thinking sulfur. Um, it started in 2008 when the sky turned purple. Um, hmm. Hello there, Polly. So the clicking. Are you feeling it? And if you're in another country other than the United States, are you feeling it? And are your animals um, seeing things? You know they're seeing things, but, um, yeah. You know that they're seeing things, but you may not necessarily be able to see what they're looking at, but you can sense it. You can sense something is there. Your dog is acting weird. Well, clicking in ears can be linked to tendinitis or allergies. Well, there's always a medical explanation, it seems to be, for any type of condition that can't be pinpointed. They've got a medical, and even with the clouds, they've got um, certain um, names. They give certain shapes of clouds. Uh, when they can't explain it, they just give it a name. Not saying that tendonitis isn't real, but then no. People know, I think, the difference between tendonitis and other things like that. Uh, yeah. And that may not be the case with everyone else. You can't say everybody else is having a case of tendonitis, especially if their, their sixth sense is, click, is starting to pick up and they're seeing and sensing more things and feeling. Yeah. 3D versus 5D. Wow. So, um, it is interesting. Your sixth sense is through the roof. Wasn't Bruce Willis in a movie? Was it the sixth sense or something? I can't remember what it is. Um, ah, uh, your dog just is acting old and sets and stares. Well, Certainly, they can feel all the frequency, too, that we're feeling. Uh, yeah. The locusts are starting to hatch out. Well, your ear is ringing with like a frequency. The veil is very thin. Okay, so yeah, the veil is thinning ever more so. And I wonder why, why now at this period of time in history would the veil be thinning? And did other people at certain other times in history feel like the veil was thinning too? Did they feel the veil was thinning back then? 
because of a lot of things were happening. And did they have, um, excuse me, shadow people? Did they have instances? Is there records of people in years past of having ringing in their ears, clicking in their ears, tendonitis, or is this something that just came into being these past years and um, they're bringing it and people are starting to experience it. Did they experience it long ago? Long ago, where there are insta instances where it was documented and things like that. Yeah. You have fought the shadow people physically. Well, they they do exist. So, um, do the shadow f people have a a physical body, or is it just like a shadow? Because I really am not sure if the shadow. Thank you, Polly, honey. I'm not really sure if the shadow people have a physical body because I, I, I've heard about them. I don't know if they have the physical one or a real one. Did somebody say a real body? Yeah. It swirled around you so you could feel it. Wow. So, yeah, you can feel it. It's got some type of a body is what it's got, some, some type of a form to it. Bad headaches. Um, and when it gets high pitched, hello everyone, I got to stand up. I don't want to sit down. Biblical um, shofar horn, the shofar horn. Yeah. A form of surveillance, reading our thoughts. I think I read an article where they could read your thoughts. And then you, you know those movies where they have the thought police. They will, uh, in the movies, they arrest you based on your thoughts saying you're going to try to commit a crime and they arrest you in this movie, uh, the thought police. Because I know that they got algorithms, they said now that can do that. It can, it, they can read what you might do. And see, that's really scary if you think about that. If they can get into your mind and stuff like that. The movie, oh, the Minority Report, thank you. That's right, um, that's wonderful. I think I only saw it one time. You have, um, yeah, the black shadow above your bed. Oh, wow, about a month ago. And uh, when you saw the black shadow around your bed, did you have a scary feeling? Did it make you feel uncomfortable? Were you okay if you saw the black shadowy figure, the shadow people? And some might say that it's like the men in black, but then this is a totally different shadow that people may see. And they may get a very uneasy negative feeling from them is uh, what they may get if you were to encounter one or come into their presence with that. Yeah, there are UFOs that can be seen in daylight. Yes, out of the corner of your eye. That's right, uh, Mindy Shaw. We talked about that in one video. Uh, that's right, because that's it's like, a, like that could be like the shadow people too, moving around. And then you look and you can't see them. Black shadow orbs only appeared during an illness in your home. Um, the shadow flew into the wall. Um, and you did get a negative feeling. <gasps> okay, okay, you all, you just brought something back to my mind. So, there was this um, person. They would lay in bed and watch TV at night, and then with the passing of a family member, they saw, I kid you not, this dark, clumpy-like silhouette of a shadow crawling around the area where the TV was, and I think on the wall, and it, it didn't leave. It didn't leave. They kept seeing it, and they felt it was like, it wasn't, it wasn't a positive feeling, but it was like that. Kind of reminds me of like a, the birthing of web plasma, how the dark clump crawled out from underneath. It looked like a big old dark clump of dirt, uh, dark, dark clump. This is what they saw on their wall, a family member had passed. Yes, yes, a demonic entity. I actually was called over to that house uh, and I took my rods and I got the entity out. I got it out. Um, don't do that unless you are able to do that. Don't do, don't you play with that stuff, you all. But that, that they, um, they just did not want that in there. Okay, they did not want that in there. 
in their house so it got out like that so yeah they can take that form too like a it, but it's 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 in another dimension but yet it shows up uh, yes a negative entity it shows up in our dimension and we physically can see it and it's a shadowy like thing too yeah black goo it could be um it could be you uh that's right so this is um this is not this is nothing to play around with everything that people are experiencing the clicking of the noises in your ears i think you can't easily dismiss it as tendonitis or tendonitis and uh whatever else that is it, you can't totally dismiss all of this stuff like this uh, you've experienced sleep paralysis. I heard when that happens, that's when you've been abducted. Mm -hmm. uh, audible clicking, and you've been hearing for three years now, and you're in Northern California. No, I didn't hear about anybody born with four arms. I didn't. You heard growling, and it disappeared, and you never... Uh, you've ever heard, you just pray to God, uh, your, your dogs, according to your sister, they stare at the hallway. And when she was there last weekend, the dogs lay down in the bedroom doorway. Um, wow. They're seeing something, you all. That's right. They're seeing something. Oh, my goodness, you all. You see it. We are on to something. This is now around the eighth time I've had these like purple um, light code thing while the phone has been pointed at me, you all. This is around the eighth time during my four year journey of what I'm doing right now, you all. This only shows up at a certain, um, at a certain um, time when I'm talking. That's right, you all. So, I don't really know of anyone else that this has ever shown up on any of their videos or anything at all. I don't. It's always shown up and it comes unexpectedly, just like that, totally unexpectedly. Um, so, yeah, this is really, um, that's right. Um, it is the truth. Otherwise, it doesn't show up. It's, it's the, yeah. So there's something going on, you all. There really is. And I know now that whenever, see, I can, you see that it's moving. I can run my, you see the movement? I'm running my hand in front of it. And it will make, it'll make those bars go across. But it's um, it's like a violet, somebody said like the, the flame of St. Germain or something like that. Germain, violet frame, violet flame or whatever of that. Yeah. It showed up on the chimes outside. Wow. That's, yes, it did. It showed up on my chimes. I think it was like three times it showed up on my porch. And maybe around four or five times here. Um, but, yeah, it does. Now, I know it's going it, to, it is like codes. It is. So, um, I'm going to flip it around. And I'm going to, I know as soon as I push the button and I get it off of me and I flip it um to something else it's, it's going to go away so I'm going to flip it right there and I'm going to flip it back to me and now it's gone you all it's gone like that but it's uh it's the topic it's the topic that we're talking about is very important and that's why it showed up so um there is something going on in the spiritual realm and people are hearing clicking some have been hearing it for around three months some have been hearing it for around three years. Their animal is staring at certain areas, on, like at the wall, at the house, down the hallways, the sleeping in the basement. The animals are sensing something is not right also. Yeah. So, um, you, you heard something over your house. Buffering is making me crazy. Who's buffering? Uh, am I buffering? I, I shouldn't be um, buffering. Yeah. Is something the phone or me? 
Oh my gosh, you cut your chat off, Polly, honey. Can you all see me? Um, yeah, okay, Apple Brooks. I have a cat, um, a very old cat. She's like 17 years old. Very peaceful, loving cat. Oh, okay, you had to go out and you had to come back in. Yeah, you all. Uh, your dog, oh, had his tail tucked for weeks now. That makes me sad. That, that, really, that really does make me sad because what they're sensing is not something good, okay? They're not sensing something good at all that's, that's right here in our dimension. And, um, yeah, you just got to comfort them if you can. Comfort your pets. That's very sad, and I don't, I don't like, but that's, they're raising the awareness, and we've got to, you got to pay attention to your pets, how the animals are behaving. Pay attention to them because they're the first alert. They're your first alert system. They're, they're there to protect you. Um, yeah. So you had a cat that lived to 27 years. The clicking was maybe your sinus is acting up, but no, it's not. Uh, it's not your sinuses. It's something much deeper. It's something, uh, something going on. Your car is messing up all the electrical stuff in it. Yeah. Crickets. High-pitched crickets. I am going to be going, you all. I just wanted to get on here and ask, are you hearing that clicking noise? And um, because a lot of people are and the, their pets are noticing something's there. Something's there. They're picking up on it. So thank you all for all your comments and um, thank you, moderators. And with that being said, you all please continue to put your comments in here so others can see whatever it is that you're experiencing Perhaps uh, it can help validate what they're also sensing, and they're not even in the same part of the world that you're in. Uh, if we can collaborate all together with what we're seeing, it, it really has a bigger impact, it does. So um, with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. Thank you so